Hey, this is Jay, and this is a quick tutorial for automatically scheduling your YouTube uploads using Google Sheets, Google Drive, and N8N. So in my last video, I actually went over the process of connecting N8N um, to Google Drive and YouTube. Um, unfortunately, it's not as easy as connecting to Google Sheets. You do have to go to Google Cloud Console and set up a client to be able to get a client ID in secret. Uh, so if you haven't done that yet, you can check that out in my other tutorial video. Um, but the idea for this video actually came from a comment from that YouTube client tutorial. So thank you for the comment. Uh, but let's get into how to build this. So this is a quick preview of what it's going to do. Um, this is just on a scheduled trigger right now. Um, you know, at a certain time every day, it will read a Google Sheet. Uh, so the Google Sheet, I just have a date column so we know um, when uh, this video should be published, uh, the name of the video, so like the actual file name, uh, the title and the description that we can use in YouTube. Uh, and then a status. So uh, I'm going to just use a simple status system because Google Sheets uh, actually in and will run down Google Sheets uh, top down. Um, so I just want to have a status to make sure that we are not grabbing the same one every time. So like in this case, if you have two videos scheduled for the same date, um, we just want to make sure that we grab the first one that's scheduled and then we'll change that status so that we can grab the next one the next time. So our, that's our simple Google Sheet schedule. Uh, then we just use Google Drive to store the videos. Um, so actually, let me move this back real quick. In Google Drive, I've got a couple of videos that are ready to be uploaded. So based on the Google Sheet, we find the video in Google Drive, um, download it to be able to get the data because we need the data to then be able to upload to YouTube. After that, we upload the status in Google Sheets to say that we've uploaded that particular video to YouTube. Uh, and then I did add a last step here where I find another folder. So I actually created a videos posted folder. Um, and then we move the video that we just posted into that folder just to kind of keep things organized. So, you know, once the video is done, we move it out of the way. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this entire flow. But let's go ahead and start from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. So we can start over. All right. So if you remember, the first thing was, uh, we were running this on a schedule. So uh, again, I actually have a tutorial for this, so uh, but I'll go over this really quickly. Um, the daily schedule is fine, like it's super simple. Uh, it's just going to run the entire week, so it's going to run Monday through Sunday. Uh, if you don't want stuff to run on the weekends, um, we can do a custom job with cron, uh, and so there's a link here if you need help generating your cron expression. So if you wanted to do uh, just Monday through Friday, you'd find something like Monday through Friday, um, and then you've got minutes, hours, days, months, and then the weekdays, one through five. So this is just Monday through Friday. So if you wanted to do something like uh, nine, 12, and three o'clock, so 15 o'clock, um, you do something like that. And you can just copy this expression, plug that back in uh, into an n And now we've got something that runs Monday through Friday at 9, 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. And now that we have a schedule, let's go ahead and go into Google Sheets and look for our next scheduled video. Uh, so again, I had a simple Google Sheet here, so we're going to connect to that. Uh, what we're going to do is just kind of work down the sheet, and we're going to grab the date, uh, and then we're also going to check the status so we know that we're looking for this next one to be scheduled. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to that sheet. All right. And so first thing, like I mentioned, we're going to uh, filter on the date. I'm going to grab today's date. So we're going to use some JavaScript to do that. So we're going to do date time dot now. Uh, but uh, uh, as you can see here, the now actually won't match. It's a little bit more uh, complicated because it includes the time. Um, so we're going to format that date to match what we've got in uh, Google Sheets. So let me let me go over that real quick, though. Uh, we're going to single quote, and then I'm going to do Y, 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 Y. So we're going to do the full year uh, and then the full month including the, the zero, so just for more consistent data, and then uh, the day. So Y, 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 M, M, capital M, M, and D, D. But that should then format today's date to match what we're putting in the spreadsheet and just keeps it clean and readable. Uh, but the other thing we need is the status. So let's grab the status. And again, I'm using something like scheduled. Um, that way we know that this thing is still... Uh, ready to be posted. But you know, once it's uploaded, then we'll change the status to uploaded or posted or whatever. Um, so last thing is, uh, again, there are there are actually two rows uh, with the same date. Um, and it it should work from top down. But we'll go ahead and just make sure that only grabs the one. Uh, so we're just going to do return only first matching row. 
and then let's grab that first row. All right, uh, row number two, so that looks correct. Got our first row, cool. So now we have some basic data about uh, the video that we wanna upload. So now we need to go find that video in Google Drive. Uh, so we're gonna search for files. Uh, in this case, again, I had a tutorial that goes over the entire process. Unfortunately, you can't just connect to Google Drive automatically. You actually have to get a client ID and client secret uh, to do that. Uh, I, again, it's a little bit more uh, work involved where you need to go to Google Cloud uh, and then set up the API through a client. So you'd come to client, uh, console here. Uh, you'd set up a project if you don't have one, API services. Uh, and then in credentials, you would hopefully have a client. And then that client then would have your client ID and client secret so that you could actually connect to your Google Drive account. Um, so a little bit of work there, but that's in another video. Uh, but hopefully you've already gone through that. So in this case, we're all connected to Google Drive and we're going to search for a video file name of that. Um, we could filter this down. So I think this is actually going to look through the entire Google Drive. Uh, so if you wanted, you could actually specify the folder that you want. Um, but at the same time, um, probably good to also keep your video file names unique so that you're not uh, getting multiple matches. But just in case, you probably do want to make sure that you are uh, specifying the folder that you want to find these in. So I think it's this one. Unfortunately, I accidentally created another one, so this may not work. I'll have to try the other one. Okay, cool. Successfully found it. Um, it just returns the ID and the name of the file, but that's all we need. So in the next one, uh, we're going to go back to Google Drive and download that file. So we're going to do a Google Drive node for download. Uh, and now we can grab the ID that we just found for that video and test. Awesome. That looks correct as the proper file name. And now this is actually like the file data um, so that we can upload to YouTube. So I'm going to drag that over here and let's add a YouTube node. Upload a video. Uh, again, um, if you set up your Google client correctly, uh, then you can use the same client ID and credentials to connect to your YouTube account that you did with your Google Drive account. And they both can just have, uh, or that, that single client can have access to both the Google Drive APIs and the YouTube APIs. So you can do that. Uh, so once that's connected, um, we can go ahead and do our upload. So uh, the other thing to note here is that um, binary becomes first. So binary is the last thing that we grabbed. So that's where this data thing is. But first, we want some extra details about the video that we're creating. So let's go ahead and grab the title that we uh, already had in the Google Sheet. So that's the title we want this to be in YouTube. Um, the region code, again, uh, this could probably just be hard coded, but uh, if you are, I don't know, dealing with the different regions for some reason, you could put that in the Google Sheet as well. Um, category again, I'm going to, I'm just going to hard code it, but you could also have a column for that. You could just pull that out of the Google Sheet as well. Um, so then, yeah, this data binary field, that's um, what this was. So that you don't have to touch. Uh, it should automatically know that, okay, this is the data I need to actually upload the video itself. Um, but we do have some more details here that we can add in. So we do have a description that's also from the Google Sheet. So let's add that. And then there's at least one other option I want to use here. So privacy status. Uh, again, uh, by default, it will go to public. So it would just automatically upload and publish that video. Um, I'm going to use unlisted for now. Um, so just really kind of depends on your workflow and how much control you want over this. If you want to just automatically uh, post and go live, then you're good to go. You could even set up other automations to set it as unlisted and then later come and change, you know, more data about, uh, the YouTube through a different, uh, workflow. But in this case, we're just going to stick with unlisted. Um, and then, yeah, there's a, there's a few other, you know, details you can uh, fill in with your upload. Uh, you even could set your, uh, publish at date. So you could upload as YouTube and then set a different date for when it actually publishes. So. A lot of flexibility here, but in this case, we just want to get it to YouTube. So let's go ahead and test it. All right. So we should have grabbed the video here, this test video.mkv, and posted it to YouTube. There we go. You can see my, my last attempt. Uh, but this, this one just uploaded. As you can see, it's still, still loading. So awesome. We've got a video uploaded. Uh, so now, um, just as some cleanup, let's make sure that we update the Google sheet. And so let's go ahead and grab that Google sheet again. 
should map our columns automatically. Um, I'm just going to match on row number. It's probably the most uh, straightforward. So actually, uh, let's select row number and drag that over. And then I'm going to set the status here to uploaded just to make sure that we are showing that that one was updated. All right, so in our Google schedule, status is now uploaded. So that way, the next time we run it, it will find the same date, but it will find that uh, the next one that has a status of scheduled, and it'll skip over this uploaded one. All right, so uh, so that's really it for the upload process, which is nice and easy. Um, I did want to add uh, an, extra pro an extra step here just to maybe clean things up a little bit. Um, so I want to move the file, but to be able to move the file first, we have to find the folder. So let's do that. So I'm going to search for a folder called videos posted. And that is the folder that I have created in my Google Drive. Um, again, just a way to like this video has been uploaded. Let's get it out of the way, put it in another folder. Uh, so we're going to just search for that folder. Um, again, I mean, this is, this is going to return that specific folder for me. Uh, this will probably search your entire Google Drive. So if you need to be specific, you can come down here and actually specify a folder for where to search for your specific videos posted folder or whatever. Uh, but in this case, we have the folder we want to move it to. Uh, so drag this down here and do the last step of moving the file. So we're going to move file. And at this point, we pretty much have all the details we need. So the operation is move. The file we want to move is the video file from down here. So the test video MKV, but I'm going to grab the ID just to be specific. And again, so you can leave the parent drive. Uh, I guess if you had multiple drives or whatever, uh, maybe a shared drive, then that's where you might want to change the setting. Uh, but in this case, I'm leaving it there. And the parent folder is the one that we just searched for. So I'm going to grab the ID for that parent folder and run that there. And so if we test this, this should move the video off to videos posted. So ran successfully double check Google Drive, and it's already updated. So there we go. So I've already tested the entire workflow node by node, but this time let's go ahead and run the test workflow all the way through. I ran into an issue here because I named the video file wrong. I still had it as MKV, so it was not working. Uh, so yeah, test short is not, it's not MKV, it's MP4. So now let's run the entire workflow and see if we get a successful upload and video file move. And it should update the status afterward. All right, so let's see what the Google Sheet looks like. Cool, successfully uploaded. And then in Google Drive, this video should, let's refresh, video is now no longer there and it was moved into the other folder. And finally, let's see if there is a new upload. And we have a test short. So there you have it. There is a full workflow for automatically scheduling YouTube uploads using Google Sheets and Google Drive. So please leave any comments. You may get a video created out of it. Uh, let me know if you have any other ideas or questions about these. Um, I'm going to continue to make more tutorials like this. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.